試合でゴールキーパーやるのはね30年ぶりぐらい。More than 30 years. There's a large number of people in the world where if their son breaks their arm and it gets complicated, he dies. That's the way a lot of people live. And for them, getting income above, say, $10 a day, you know, be able to have some sort of security, owning some property or a house, that's what growth is. So the way I think you think about it is growth or GDP per capita is not a measure of social economic welfare. But it's correlated with an awful lot of those measures, especially in the bottom half of the world income distribution. So the degrowth narrative, I think, makes a lot of sense to a lot of people, to say nothing in Switzerland,、um, what more could you want?、Uh, but for a lot of the world, they still need GDP to rise because they don't have the material conditions for a decent lifestyle. When we talk only about economic growth, is what the youth, the youngsters don't want to hear anymore. We need to really start saying that you have three pillars that have to move side by side the economic growth, protecting Mother Nature, environment, and the social spending. I will hope we agree, though, that you shouldn't just focus on, on growth and hoping that growth. 
you know, la main invisible. Growth will solve the rest. We need growth. For me, it's very clear from my own perspective, we need the growth. But that growth should not be looked in an isolated way and say, okay, later on, it will take care of the, the social and the environment. I would like to, to stress one point, mm. how tough, how hard the situation is at the moment in developing countries. Uh, the minister has, um, has uh, raised the point of um, interest rates and the cost of capital. I mean, these countries, they have low growth, they have many pro development problems, they have to finance the global transformation towards decarbonization, and capital is very, very expensive there. And I think we have to, to look at that. There's a lot of work that took place at COP27 uh, uh, to give a definition of just financing and principles of just financing and how, uh, because of the cost of capital, we need uh, more concessionality in order to bring down the cost of capital, to draw in the private sector much needed for uh, the transitions, but also for growth. Because if we think about each and every um, uh, climate project, be it mitigation or adaptation, as a project that will create jobs, as a project that will add to the country's development and therefore growth rates, then uh, this is where we will have a window uh, to push forward on, uh, on financing. We are seeing the word empowerment being used left, right and center. Uh, over the last decade, it's still front and center of many organizations working um, with gender, with women. Uh, and Grameen has intentionally made the shift to say we're no longer going to empower women because who are we to empower them? We really want to enable systems to, um, to make sure that they can show up with their full potential and with their full power. And we really want to uplift and uh, so we really want to shift the narrative from uh, empowering women to investing in the power of women so they can show up with their full potential and shine. woman goes to a financial institution and they offer her a loan, let's say, at 48%, then the woman should have the knowledge to say, well, why is it 48%? I have done my entrepreneurship training with Grameen and I understand that my business can only afford a 12% interest rate. What can I do to de-risk myself? Can I get on Grameen's digital platform? Can you do due diligence on me? Can I improve my credit score? What, what is it that I can do? to get loan at, at a rate that is going to make me uh, and my business successful. What happens when there is a lack of financial health is that um, women suffer in silence. They don't have a voice. So when a woman has agency and when she has um, when she has access to the right kind of information, then she is able to solve for many dimensions of poverty. Financial health is a means for her to make sure that she has the agency to take care of her own health. And um, I think it's all very interrelated. It's very holistic in nature. <laughs>